as couples joined in the sacrament of marriage we are called to renew our marriage vows to recommit ourselves to our spouse in love today's liturgy also invites us to trust god our divine healer that he will deliver us and heal us from all our sickness as we begin this eucharist we are invited to examine ourselves and to identify what afflicts us selfishness corruption violence jealousy greed impatience anger as witnesses of christ do we realize our role in relieving the suffering of those who are afflicted let us also pray for couples and families especially those going through difficult times because of the pandemic Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we've gathered here at the Holy Eucharist, we pray at the Holy Eucharist as a Thanksgiving Mass to say in Valentine community that Zone L today is our community feast. We remember them and pray for them in a very special way, and we also pray for all the intentions that we have placed in the box. Let's spend a few moments in silent prayer. And for the times that we have failed and gone far away from God, let us ask him for his mercy and pardon. Together we say, I confess, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and you, my, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, bless Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may he forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen A reading from the book of Leviticus The Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron saying when a person has on the skin of his body a swelling or an eruption or a spot and it turns into a case of leprous disease on the skin of his body then he shall be brought to Aaron the high priest or to one of his sons the priest He is a leprous man. He is unclean. The priest must pronounce him unclean. His disease is on his head. The leprous person who has the disease shall wear torn clothes and let the hair of his head hang loose. And he shall cover his upper lip and cry out unclean unclean he shall remain unclean as long as the disease lasts he is unclean he shall live alone his dwelling shall be outside the camp the word of the lord Thanks be to God. of St Paul to the Corinthians Brethren whether you eat or drink or whatever you do do all to the glory of God give no offense to Jews or to Greeks or to the church of God just as i try to please everyone in everything i do not seeking my own advantage but that 
of many, that they may be saved. Be imitators of me as I am of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. According to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, a leper came to Jesus, begging him, and kneeling, said to him, If you will, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand and touched him, and said to him, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him, and he was made clean. And he sternly charged him, and sent him away at once, and said to him, See that you say nothing to any one, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded, for a proof to the people. But he went out and began to talk freely about it, and to spread the news, so that Jesus could no longer openly enter a town, but was out in the country, and people came to him from every quarter. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> My brothers and sisters, if you have paid careful attention to the readings from the last three Sundays, we see Jesus is on a move where he is healing so many people. And we see right from the Sunday before, he has been healing people who are sick, people who had an evil spirit, people who had a demon. And today we see Jesus also doing something very great. We may wonder for ourselves sometimes and ask ourselves and say, oh, he is God, so he could have done all these things. But what about me? Can I also do these things? For example, if someone comes to you and says, can you pray over me? Can you pray would be the first question. Everyone can pray. This right is not only given to special people, but every single person can pray. And the reason, my dear brothers and sisters, I want to share with you what is the real significance when someone lays their hand and pray. You see, right from the time that, you know, a little small baby is born to the very time that you grow up and you die, these hands are always used for blessing right from a childhood, a little child, the mother and father will keep on going and blessing the child, the grandparents will come and they'll bless the child. Later on in life, as the child grows and enters into youth age and uh, becomes a great adult, even at that time, there is a blessing given. You know, our parish in Mulund is so blessed because of the Mangalorean and Govan tradition, where, you know, people come to elders, people come come to priests and they come and they keep asking you for blessing. I remember in my first year when I came to this parish, I remember standing out after mass and soon after mass got over, everyone was coming to you. Father, please bless me. Father, please bless me. And I sometimes ask myself, why do I give this blessing when God can give something greater? 
but my dear friends god uses human beings to use to use his instruments of love joy peace and healing and today's gospel jesus is telling us the same example you know jesus could have easily gone to people and even without people coming to him he could have said you are healed no need to come to me you only take my name and you be healed but we see this leprosy man who perhaps was suffering from so many years who couldn't mix around with people who could not enter a temple who could not enter a synagogue and is now coming to meet jesus believing in his heart and life that this man can do something great that's the power of faith my dear brothers and sisters a leprosy person coming to jesus you know today we don't see any people around but if a leper comes in front of you the first thing that you will do is you will take your children away you will not entertain that person and you will say oh why should i talk to this person but today maybe each one of us have leprosy in our own life it could not be in a physical way but we could have leprosy maybe through anger leprosy of hatred leprosy of revengefulness leprosy that you know i am going to get back at you and jesus is asking you and me today do you want to be healed you know last sunday's gospel jesus the text tells us that so many people came at the door and stood at the door but they never entered the door unless jesus saw them jesus perhaps is looking at you and me today and asking you do you want to be healed of your sickness do you want to be healed of any problem that you're going through you know when the priest raises that body and when he raises up my dear brothers and sisters at that point we are told that we should look only at jesus i remember as an altar server the my altar server in charge the father always told us that whenever the priest raises the host and whenever he raises the chalice you must all look at him because that's the moment he looks at you and that's the most beautiful moment by the brothers and sisters and today i want to invite you when we raise the body and blood of jesus it is not for us to bow down but it is for us to look at jesus because when we look at him he looks at us and today he is inviting you and me for this special calling he wants to touch your life he wants to heal you of your disease of any sickness that you go through he wants to deliver you completely Let's pray today in the Holy Eucharist in a very special way. Every time that we come for the Eucharist, we should be filled with joy that He is going to bless us. That there's something new. There's going to be a transformation in my life. Maybe some of you have come here very sad, very depressed. But when you go back after Mass, you will be a different person. And that's the power. That's the power of Jesus. That He looks at you and me, and He welcomes you and me. I invite you at this time let's all close our eyes and let's make a prayer at this moment let's tell Jesus Jesus as I have come here today for the Holy Eucharist I surrender to you all my worries all my problems all my anxieties Let's give it to Jesus my dear brothers and sisters he is a god who heals us he is a god who loves you and me and every time we come to him he will heal us he will deliver us and so even as i just sing the same all to jesus i surrender just just make it a prayer surrender to jesus all that is troubling you maybe you have some kind of a sickness some kind of a of a pain in your body give it to jesus and he will set you free oh do jesus i surrender I surrender I surrender 
Let us all stand now and let us profess our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in I Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, his only Son, our Lord, Son, our Lord who was conceived, who was conceived by, by the Holy Spirit, Spirit and born, born of the Virgin, Virgin Mary. Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was, was crucified, and died, died and was buried. Spirit. He descended, he descended into, hell, into hell on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, Church, the covenant the of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. With gratitude in our hearts for the gift of healing, let us place all our petitions to our Heavenly Father. Our response will be, Merciful God, hear our prayer. Together, Merciful, Merciful God, God, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our Holy Father, bishops, priests, religious, and clergy, that they may extend a hand of love, encouragement, and healing to all those who feel alienated, depressed, and lonely. We pray in faith. Merciful God, hear our prayer. We pray for all married couples, that they may make prayer as the center of the family, experience the love of God in each other, and renew their commitment of faithfulness to one another. We pray in faith, merciful, merciful God, God, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who labor tirelessly to relieve the suffering of the sick, especially doctors, nurses, counselors, social and health care workers, and all who serve the sick and the suffering with the love and compassion of Jesus Christ, that God may bless them abundantly. We pray in faith. Merciful Lord, God, Lord, hear our prayer. Our prayer. We pray for those suffering from terminal diseases, the physically and mentally challenged, the victims of war, and those recovering from COVID-19, that they may experience God's care for them through the family and the community. We pray in faith, most merciful God, God, hear our prayer. Our prayer. We pray that as we enter the season of Lent, we may experience a deep sense of repentance and forgiveness, which will bring about inner healing in our lives. We pray in faith, Most Merciful God, God, hear our prayer. We pray for our personal needs and the needs of the community. We pray in faith. Merciful God, God, hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for healing us and for setting us free and for helping us to love you unconditionally. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Bless our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. Bless our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Dear brothers and sisters, the divine sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God and the Almighty Father. May the Lord Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Is that we celebrate in love, his resurrection confessed with living faith, and his coming glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ascended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Savior, 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Cardinal Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. We remember and pray for all those who have died in our families and all those who need our prayers. Let's pray for them. Let's also pray for those celebrating the birthdays, wedding anniversaries today. We pray that the Lord will bless all of them with good health and that He will continue to bless them with the gifts of faith, hope, and love. <coughs> Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs with her in life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, oh, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, for by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, when the Lord heals us, we are totally free and we are a renewed person. And let us offer today each other the sign of very thanksgiving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. 
I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food 
by which we truly live through Christ our Lord. Pray for healing and protection from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere. Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that these vaccines are made available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for the doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they may be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they may take appropriate steps for the good of the people. O merciful God, keep us safe and give us your peace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Can you be seated? We have the parish notices. Today we celebrate World Marriage Day. We will have a special prayer of blessing for all the married couples after these announcements. 17 February is Ash Wednesday, a day of fast and abstinence. Masses will be as follows, at 6.30 and 7.30 in the morning, and in the evening at 5, 6, and 7 o'clock. During the season of Lent, the Way of the Cross in Tamil will be on Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m., followed by Mass in Tamil. On Thursdays at 7 a.m. in Konkani, followed by Mass in Konkani. And the Way of the Cross on Fridays will be in English at 7 a.m. before the Mass and at 7.30 p.m. after the Mass. We invite zonal leaders and animators to conduct the Way of the Cross in small clusters in their community during the season of Lent. Every Monday in Lent, we will have an extended Mass at 7 p.m., celebrated by a guest priest with a 15-minute sermon on the theme of the week. Priests will be available for confessions across the table every Friday and Saturday in Lent from 6.30 p.m. onwards on the ground floor in the parish house. There will be no other special days for confessions during Lent. Please fulfill the Easter obligation of the sacrament of penance throughout the Lenten season. Admissions to Junior KG of the SSC Board of St. Pius School is open online. Admissions to the St. Pius International School from Nursery to Standard 3 are open. Please visit the school office or see the notice board for details. There are vacancies for the following posts in the St. Pius the 10 International School. Office staff with BBM and experience in marketing. Teachers for English and ICT and post of support staff. You may give your applications in the school or parish office. For regular updates regarding mass timings and parish activities, please make sure that your family is registered in the parish. You have a parish card and the zonal leader as your mobile number for WhatsApp group information. Printed copies of the examiner, the Archdiocesan Catholic News Weekly, will be available once again from today. You may pick up your copy from the table outside the parish office. 
Please note that all hard copy subscription, whether pickup or by post, which expired on 31st December 2020, have been extended for nine months. For any queries, please contact the examiner office. Last Sunday's collection amounted to rupees 52,865. God bless you all. Can you stand? We now have a special prayer for all married couples. God, our loving Father, we come to you, our source of life and love. Accompany these couples in their married life, be their joy in good times, and their strength in difficult moments. Bless them today as they continue to love you and love their spouse. Put into their eyes the glow of understanding, into their ears the willingness to listen, into their voices the warmth of hope, and into their touch the comfort of human closeness. Bonded by the warmth of their love for each other, may the Holy Spirit enter each other's hearts and help them to continue to live this wonderful journey of married life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. for joining us in the Sori Eucharist and wishing all the couples a very happy marriage day.